Hello there guys, it's Stranger Hydro 9 and I'm back on Sunday, I believe it would be like November the 14th or something of that nature. Um, and this is the video I was talking about making, uh, part 3 of my vlog, um, talking about you know how I got Skywim and what I've been doing so far. Um, I got Skywim on launch night, it was awesome, I went up there uh, at midnight, walked up to my local GameStop, it was probably about maybe 30 degrees out um, but everybody was so excited people were fucking dancing in the streets I mean it was just it was just a really an exciting time um, I mean there was just a massive amount of excitement I was just talking to people you know like what are you gonna do and then they would tell me their character builds and and just uh, just an amazing time um, getting the game and then as soon as I got the game I rushed back to the house uh, put it in the drive and just started experiencing uh, this this kind of brave new world, if you will. Um, one thing I want to say right off the bat, Skyrim is really, really rare for a game. Um, it's a game that is pretty revolutionary in every way, um, in the sense that the graphics are awesome, the combat system has been massively improved, Basically, it's everything that a sequel should be, taking the best parts of previous games and trying to weed out everything that didn't work. Um, I mean, it's really rare for a game to improve so much, and I think that the setting difference uh, was just a huge change uh, from, you know, Oblivion. And uh, the game is just absolutely awesome. For those of you who haven't played it yet, um, I'm trying to get it for the PC now so I can record some commentary using flaps. If you guys want this, please leave in the comments, you know, uh, you know, saying, okay, I want you to do this. You know, try to show some support for that because it's hard on my end to kind of gauge what you guys want. Um, so please leave in the comments, you know, if that's something that you want. And it would have to be probably on low graphics settings uh, because I'm using an integrated graphics chip in my laptop. Um, but I still think it'll run Skyrim, and um, actually at a video gaming event I went to a couple days ago uh, that my college hosted, I got to play Skyrim on the PC, and that's definitely the way you want to do it if you can, um, because it's pretty freaking awesome. Um, but yeah, I mean, just just talking you through like the first, I mean, I don't want to give any spoilers away, um, but just the first hour or two is just going to blow your mind. I mean... For in-game rendering, it's amazing. Now, there is some frame rate issues on the Xbox 360. I mean, the frame rate especially slows down when the action gets heavy. But, uh, I mean, the draw distance is amazing, like everybody's been talking about. The quest, there's just an unlimited amount of quest. I mean, you can literally do, I can see 300 eyes easy in this game because there's just so much shit to do. Um, the same problems that have always been in the series, like... The, the one problem I think that persists is still sometimes a little bit of frustration at like not knowing where to go next. But this really has been improved a lot since Oblivion. But I think that's a really more of a trade-off. Because whenever you have such an open world, you can't really impose that type of, uh, you know, story cohesiveness, I guess you could call it. That, you know, a more linear gameplay uh, is going to give you, but yet, I mean, you're getting huge trade-in benefits, um, the open world, you can do anything, I mean, I don't know, it just feels much realer, like, let's say I was walking at night, this was the first night I played it, and I started my playthrough, you know, it starts in the daytime, and it turned in the evening, the sky was setting, I mean, it was just beautiful, it was like, whoa, and then the night came, and like, it was raining, and I, I was just walking along towards this town in the distance, and I mean, I, I was like, wow, that looks great. And I looked up at the sky and I could see the moon coming through. And then suddenly, like, the northern lights started. And I was just like, what the fuck? You know, this has not been seen in a game before. And this is just like, I don't know, there's so many of those little things that if you just stop and look, you know, you can see how much the game has been crafted to give those things that you may not see uh upon first glance and that will really become apparent you know 50 or 100 eyes in um just like you can catch salmon in the stream like they'll be jumping out of a stream i mean in a sense yeah it doesn't have the most practical purpose but yet in another sense it's just that immersion experience and i, I think that's really what skyrim is all about is immersion um 
I mean, one thing I'm going to say uh, also is that I'm playing as a mage in this playthrough, a dark elf mage, and uh, it's the magic system has been tremendously improved. Um, in Oblivion and previous games, the magic system, in my opinion, always felt somewhat inferior to, you know, just straight up hand-to-hand -hand combat. Uh, just because the kind of aiming system kind of was wonky, and it just, I don't know, it didn't feel as natural as other games. You know, if you if you played kind of mainstream games in the last few years, then it's going to feel really kind of outdated um, to you. Where in Skyrim, it still is not like the lock-on system like a lot of games, but yet in another sense, it feels semi-natural. And uh, the like effects that they produce is pretty freaking awesome. Um, another really cool thing is the whole shout system in this game. You know, that's already kind of been expounded on a lot. Um, but the shouts are really cool because even if you're not really much of a mage, you can still use, like, magic-like effects. Um, and, of course, the dragon fights. I don't want to spoil anything. The dragon fights are awesome. Let's just say that right off the bat. Um, now, I will say this. I believe that some dragon fights are random encounters, but most of the ones I've encountered so far have been tied to the storyline. Um, but I've definitely heard from other people that once you get to a certain point, random encounters start generating. And uh, the, basically, fighting the dragons is very integral to you progressing um, just because they give you... They give you a lot of stuff that you can't really get anything else, especially involved in the shout system. Again, I don't want to spoil it too much, but basically, uh, to get more shouts, you have to kill more dragons. So, it, it's it's a really clever dynamic there that kind of, it, it doesn't feel like a boss fight. It feels much more natural than that. It doesn't feel so uh, pre-programmed, I guess. And uh, you have a lot of options. You can be an archer. You can be a mage. Uh, you can really switch a lot between these things. Um, and I mean, this game, again, the moral system is totally different, which I really think is smart. You basically, I mean, you have the main quest, and then you have all these factions. Like, let's say, uh, the Stormcloaks versus the Imperials. Now, at first, the Imperials were trying to kill me, basically. So I was like, oh, I'm definitely going to join the Stormcloaks. And again, I don't want to put too much spoilers in here, but... Just bear with me for a second. So basically, you know, the Imperials, for whatever reason, if you play the game, you'll understand, are trying to kill you. And so I was like, I'm definitely going with the Stormcloaks. So I go to the Stormcloak stronghold, and the guy basically hates Dark Elves. So I'm like, okay, well, I'll, I'll probably be an Imperial then. I mean, you know, right there, you kind of set off. And then I go to the Imperials, and it's like, oh, well, they're suppressing these religions. It's like, no one is really very good, if you understand me. They both have their strengths. You know, the rebels are kind of like the freedom. Let's have religious freedom. But yet, they're kind of like, I don't know, I would almost call them racial. I mean, they're like, kind of racist and, and just like, I don't know. that The Stormcloaks don't really appeal to you. But yet, on the other side, the Imperials, which the Imperials, it's all about strengthening the Empire and things of that nature. So you really, you, you have to pick your decision carefully, and I actually haven't picked a major f uh, faction yet, just because it's not that black or white morality at all, um, which I think that makes the game a lot more uh, ingenious. Um, now, I will tell you one or two things that just to avoid, unless you want a major headache, is Daedric Princes. Um, you can find them in this game. I've had other people talk to me when they found them, and I found some myself, and believe me, they're a nightmare, um, just because they always want you to do these crazy-ass shit, um, but it's just one of those things, like, I couldn't, if this, if this vlog was 20 times as long, I couldn't tell you about all the shit I did, um, from day one, I mean, I, just the, just that short sampling, just the first hour or two of gameplay that I did, on the first night would probably take me 30 minutes to describe. There were so many things that I wish I could express to you. Um, but I think the best way is definitely if I can get it on the PC to kind of have a playthrough where I can share some of that gameplay with you. And it's going to be totally different. Like I might, uh, I'm thinking about if I do a PC playthrough to kind of like do more of a, a, you know, a warrior melee style um, 
class, and I definitely want the, your opinion. Do you want this playthrough? Because you have to remember, these commentaries are, you know, for my own enjoyment and for your guys' enjoyment. And if you guys ain't enjoying it, just tell me. Um, just like the Gears of War, I really haven't had much feedback on a lot of people saying that that's something they want. Um, and it seems like to me right now, people want more Halo. So when Halo Anniversary comes out, if I can get a cap, or I'm hoping to get you some gameplay of that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Please leave something in the comments about what you guys want. And uh, I really hope you enjoyed this. And I'll see you guys next time. Definitely pick up Skyrim. Alright, Hydra out.